tonight. Right now, we're focusing on Collier County. That's right. Fox 4's Calvin Lewis joins us live now from Naples, showing us how people there are getting ready. Calvin? Well, Patrick, Jane, the main message authorities want to get across is simply be prepared. Authorities remain optimistic that Elsa is not going to be too devastating of a storm, but they say if an evacuation is necessary to just be ready. Right now I'm enjoying very nice weather and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. That seems to be the resounding answer from those throughout Collier County. As Tropical Storm Elsa sets her sights on the coast, Southwest Floridians are getting ready in different ways. We are excited about that. We, <laughs> we're looking forward to it. It's like we had to, if we had to pay extra, we probably would have. On Monday, the Naples Pier was bustling with both locals and tourists. It may seem like those are unfazed by Elsa's expected arrival, but preparations are being made. We've bought some food to keep in the uh, the condo that we're in, and uh, and so we'll hunker down if we have to hunker down there. But it's uh, been there a long, long time, so um, we figure it'll last another uh, week. I've taken precautions at the house, but I don't feel we've had any serious warnings that we have to leave the house to go anywhere. Meanwhile, the city of Naples Fire Rescue Department cautions the community to remain vigilant. What we're expecting is a, is a full day of uh, maybe a full day and a half of really tough uh, storms, uh, brisk winds, uh, and uh, some gusty winds into the 40 mile an hour area. But we're, we're hopeful that this is not going to be a major uh, weather event, at least this time. The department is not recommending anyone seek shelter at this time. However, they say to make sure you know where to go. They're set up for a lot of people. And at the end of the pandemic, we always want people to use uh, caution if that's one of their options. Uh, we, we are not recommending people leave the area for this storm. We think it's, it's perfectly reasonable to stay uh, in your home uh, for Elsa as it comes by uh, off our coast. They're also advising the public to have at least 72 hours worth of food, water and battery operated equipment. They also say to have an evacuation plan in case you need to get out. De Maria says if evacuation is recommended, they strongly suggest people to get out of those areas and listen to emergency management. Don't try to ride down a storm if uh, if you don't have to. Again, Elsa is a smaller storm and we're, we're not as concerned about a major weather event with this, but certainly not going to be the last time we're looking at hurricanes either this season or in the future seasons. And you can stay up to date on those current conditions regarding Tropical Storm Elsa by simply heading over to our website, fox4now.com. Live in Collier County, Calvin Lewis, Fox 4.